New at 11 tonight, trout season in Connecticut. For anglers in our state, there is no better time of year. And the state is doing everything they can to make it stay that way, stocking waterways with hundreds of thousands of farm-raised fish. News 8's Jim Watkins shows us how one scientist is taking on the fishing business as usual. Professor Doug Thompson is a geologist who studies rivers. He used to be an avid trout fisherman, but 10 years ago, he stopped. I just didn't want to be part of this kind of industry that supported the trout fishing. Thompson says the million plus farm raised trout stocked in state waterways each year come at the expense of native species like brook trout. I think that there's um, a lot of pressure put on the native species with the stocking efforts. This, I think, puts um, you know, some species at risk. And so if we start losing some species uh, because of the pressures, we're going to have problems in the river in general. Professor Thompson might teach at Connecticut College, but what he talks about is far more than academic. There is a lot of money on the table in Connecticut when it comes to trout fishing. Tens of millions of dollars. Money the state would not be happy to part with. But Thompson believes rivers should be about more than just getting revenue from anglers. I think they should consider other um, people who interact with the river system who maybe don't buy licenses and pay fees in that way. In response to Thompson's criticisms and defending the state's emphasis on fishing, a deep spokesperson called on him, quote, to acknowledge some of the nation's most passionate and effective conservationists are anglers. Thompson says he doesn't disagree with that, but that better awareness by anglers about what they're catching will keep the fishing cart from going before the environmental horse. That they care about the environment, which I know a lot of anglers do, then I think there's a responsibility that they need to educate themselves on what types of fish they're catching. He means catching and releasing the native species and taking home the farm-raised trout. We've got a brown trout right here. By chance, we met up with a veteran angler who had caught one of each, and he wasn't throwing either one back. If you can actually catch a native brook trout, they're delicious, absolutely <laughs> delicious compared to any farm-raised trout. Proof that Professor Thompson might be swimming upstream to change a system he says threatens the native ecosystem of Connecticut's rivers. In East Hampton, Jim Watkins, News 8.